Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's Cognizant Gen C interview experience for the Python cluster. This interview happened today, that is on 7th April 2025. So guys, lot of questions in this interview has been asked from Python as well as DBM and SQL questions have been asked. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end because every question discussed in this video can repeat in your interviews as well. Okay, and guys, many of you are asking me, sir, from where we should prepare for our, for our interviews. So in this later part of this video, I will be discussing about the important interview IT subject notes which will help you for your last minute preparation for the Cognizant interview. So guys, now let's start this video. Before starting the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because continuously on our channel, we are making interview videos for Cognizant for all the profiles. You can check out this playlist. The link I will give you in the description box as well as the i button. And guys, also, do join this Telegram group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. All the discussions regarding different different companies are happening in this particular group. So guys, now let's start the video. Do write in the comment section that when is your interview and for which role. Okay, so le let's discuss the interview experience now. Okay, so guys, the first question is explain the difference between list and tuples in Python. So list is an ordered mutable collection, whereas tuple is ordered, but it is immutable collection. Once a tuple is made, it cannot be changed afterwards. List is declared like this, that is the square brackets, whereas tuple is de de described in a closed brackets, okay? Mutable, immutable, I have already told. So lists are slightly slower due to mutability, whereas tuples are faster because they are immutable in nature. I hope this is clear to you. Whenever a difference is asked to you in the interviews, try to give at least one, uh, two to three points, okay? So now let's move ahead. Next is what are list comprehensions and can you provide an example? List comprehensions in Python are a concise way to create list using single line of code. They are more compact and faster than using the traditional for loops. So this is the syntax and this is the example for using the list comprehension. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is how does Python implement polymorphism? So Python implements polymorphism just like the different languages do like doing operator overloading, method overriding, operator uh, uh, function overloading. So all these are the type of from which the Python can implement the polymorphism. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is write a Python program to remove duplicates from the list. So this is the list given which contains duplicate. Remove duplicates, we can simply add these elements into a set and then we can convert it into the list. So this is how duplicate can be removed because in the set data structure, no duplicate element is present. I hope this question is also clear to you. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that we have important interview IT subject notes on our top mid page of Code Bashers. Till now, 1895 people have bought it and we have a very good rating of 4.3 out of 5. In these particular notes, we have covered total 10 to 12 subjects which are very important for your IT interviews, not just for Cognizant but for other companies like TCS Infosys as well. So all the, these subjects are covered in these notes and for every subject we have around 20 to 25 important questions and their answers for these subjects. If I will show you the sample of let's suppose the Python interview questions PDF, you will find we have a proper question, we have the proper answer and wherever possible we have given the code sample as well. Similarly, if I will open the DBMS sample, you can see here we have proper question, we have proper answer, how you have to answer in the interviews. So I'm not saying that all the questions in your interviews will be repeating from here. But once you get these notes and prepare for from these notes, they can help you in your last minute preparation and around 70 to 80% questions can repeat in your interviews. Every subject mentioned here, we have given the separate PDF in these notes. If you are interested, the links are in the description box and it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So do check them out in the description box. Next question is, what are the different types of joins in SQL? So joins in SQL are mostly of the four types, inner join, left join, right join and full join. So inner join is when we want that uh, common rows from two different tables. A left join is when we want common rows plus all the rows which are present in the left table but not in the right table. Right join is we want all the common rows plus all the rows which are present in the right table but not in the left table. Full join is when we want all the uh, rows whether they are common whether there are rows in the left table or whether there are rows in the right table so these are the high level difference between inner join left join right join and full join 
you should also know the syntax of these joints as well for the interview because cognizant majorly focuses on the dbms questions and sql query questions as well okay moving ahead the next question is explain the difference between ddl and dml commands so guys ddl command is data definition language dml command is data manipulation language through ddl commands the schema of the database is changed or the table is changed but through dml commands only the data that is present inside a table is changed so ddl commands are create alter drop truncate dml commands are select insert update and delete okay so i hope this is clear to you next question is what are acid properties in database so at acid properties are atomicity consistency isolation and durability you should know each and every property in detail okay you can also google them and also you can find this answer in my notes as i have described earlier okay you can check them out for different different subjects uh, for last minute preparation also the notes you can consider okay i hope this question is clear to you next question is write a sql query to retrieve the second highest salary from an employee table so this is the second highest salary so this is again a very commonly asked and important interview question and in gen c interviews quite frequently this question is getting asked okay you can check from previous interview experiences as well that i posted on this playlist that this type of questions and sql queries are very common for the cognizant interviews okay now moving towards the next question what are the different cloud services model different cloud services model are infrastructure as a service uh, platform as a service and software as a service so why this cloud question was asked because the candidate has mentioned in his resume that he was comfortable in aws so that's why we tell you that do not lie anything in your resume the skills that you have mentioned in your resume a question can be asked from you so this question was based on the resume okay next question is explain the concept of virtualization in cloud computing so again based on resume this question was asked next and the last question of this video or the second last is what are the containers and how do they differ from virtual machines i hope this question is also clear to you okay again resume based aws question containers that we use to docker virtual machines that we used to use earlier okay so basically the operating system is different here how we configure a virtual machine and a container containers are more better than virtual machines okay so i hope this question is also clear to you the last question of this interview was discuss the benefits and challenges of cloud computing so cloud computing where everything is maintained on the servers instead of the actual hardware that we maintain in our companies so what are the advantages of that it is fast scalable and all these things you can tell to the interviewer okay so these last two two to three questions were based on the resume so make sure that any skill that you have mentioned in your resume and you are not comfortable in that remove it right now okay so this was all the questions which which we were asked in this particular interview whether it is from uh, python questions dbms questions sql queries or the cloud computing so all these we have we have discussed here so i hope this video was helpful for you do write in the comment section that when you have your cognizant interview and for which role you have okay and if you don't know from where you to prepare it you can prepare for last minute preparation through these important interview it subject notes which are present on our top mid page okay inside these notes we have covered all the subjects which you will from which questions can be asked from you in your interviews okay for every subject 20 to 25 important questions have been discussed with their answers and it will hardly take 4 to 5 hours to just read through all these notes and clear your interviews so guys thank you for watching this video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this telegram group if you are if you want to have knowledge about different different companies that are hiring thank you for watching this video